Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it looks like there's been a new development on the Bandai uh, purchasing MetaZoo scenario. Uh, the whole saga is unfolding and uh, we'll continue to cover it as uh, as it seems to be quite interesting to people. But um, Dr. Cards has posted a uh, like a little chat with MetaZoo Games, uh, Mike, asking if the inside source, I'll put the graphic up here by the way as well, but the... Uh, it says, so inside source telling me Bald is pushing you out of the game and pending sale with Bandai. How true might that be? MetaZoo Games has responded, no, not true. It's not advisory. Uh, sorry, it's an advisory board, not a governance one. Bald and I are on great terms and navigating a difficult situation. Companies have said that they want to buy a part of MetaZoo and it would be cool if Bandai is one of them. If they had proper infrastructure and resources to build out an IP, that would be super helpful. Dr. Cards has responded, Mike, this all saddens me so much. I'm so torn. I want to be part uh, of whatever the future of Zoo has to bring. And you know, uh, anyway, so blah, blah, blah. Um, but all this mystery shit going back and forth is hurting this even more. MetaZoo Games, Mike has responded, there's no mystery, just a bunch of strange rumours. We are treating this professionally and when there's news, it will be shared. Promise. So I just kind of wanted to go over this a little bit. I'll leave the graphic up there so that you can see what I'm referring to as I kind of go through it. Um, but the first thing that I wanted to touch on was that Mike's saying that the board is not pushing him out of the game. Uh, it does seem quite a weird thing to say. Um, because Mike, I mean, it, it has happened. Mike has left the, the Discord uh, server, right? Now, this could have happened because he put out a letter saying that Mike, uh, MetaZoo had been uh, closed down. It was, it was not performing any further operations as you know effective immediately um and if there was a potential buyout now obviously i appreciate that mike is not going to be able to discuss a potential buyout right there's you know lawyers involved and all that sort of stuff and the p public perception of metazoo does matter in terms of the uh, you know the, the cost of metazoo or the sale of metazoo or what the what the price of metazoo should even be so when Mike put that letter out and then it was deleted, I wonder if part of the ongoing sale is that he is not part of the Discord for the time being. So that is a possibility as well and that he will come back in the future. But it is definitely true that he is not part of the Discord server at the moment. So I'm not entirely sure what's gone, gone on there. He has also said it would be cool if Bandai is one of them. Now, maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into this, but he could have answered that question a little bit uh, more differently if it wasn't Bandai that was interested in, in making some sort of purchase. The He could have said something like, for example, um, I don't know, uh, there's there's a bunch of companies that said that they want to buy a part of MetaZoo. It would be cool if Bandai is one of them, but there's plenty of opportunities out there that it could be you know, a company just as big or something like that. Uh, he could have said something like that, but maybe I'm reading too much into it. But from that response, it does kind of seem to me, reading between the lines, that it, is, it does seem to be Bandai, right? Um, Dr. Cards has said, all of this mystery shit going backwards and forwards is hurting this even more. And Micah has responded saying, there is no mystery. Now, at this point, right, everything is a mystery. Nobody knows what's going on at all. Uh, there was a letter out a few days ago saying the Metazoo had closed down and... As far as we were concerned, and everybody was concerned, all bases of operations had closed. So that means there's nobody working the phones, there's nobody working the distribution, there's nobody working the emails, there's nobody working anything. All operations have ceased. And then the, and then the letter's been removed. Now, Mike is, Mike is trying to act like, you know, what do you mean? There's no mystery. You know, this, this didn't happen at all. Oh, you must be crazy. I don't, know what, I don't understand what you mean. But everything at the moment is a mystery. So... Um, hopefully we see some sort of more developments uh, with that in the future. But while we're on the subject of Bandai, uh, a lot of people have said in the comments, why on earth would Bandai want to buy MetaZoo? And this is a really, really simple answer, guys. Um, Bandai is a multi, multi-billion dollar company, right? It's a, it's a corporation. It doesn't have any personal investment in brands or something that it creates its sole purpose is to is to continue making profit for the foreseeable future now it already does have large ips like digimon dragon ball z stuff like that as we've already been through um but one thing that needs to be sort of noted is that it's always best for companies to have insurance in terms of ip right i mean the, the first reason that bandai would want to buy metazoo is that it's hard to come up with a new ip 
that resonates with people, right? And MetaZoo clearly does resonate with people. It clearly does. Lots of people are interested in it. It has, um, you know, really approachable kind of brand with the cryptids that are already familiar with people, already kind of interesting, um, and that people already have familiarity with, right? People already know Bigfoot. They already know Mothman, all that sort of stuff. Um, Digimon Dragon Ball Z is kind of in the twilight years, right? It's not as not as popular as it once was, and kids of today are certainly not getting into it now. So I think for things to have longevity over certainly the next 25 years, you need to have something that's instilled into kids now so that when they grow up in 25 years' time, they uh, want to read by their youth and introduce it to their children. That hasn't happened with Digimon or Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so a new IP needs to be injected into the Bandai purse to to kind of continue that longevity over the next 25 years i mean look at look at pac-man for example pac-man is definitely losing popularity over overall and um you know probably in 25 years time it will just be completely irrelevant as as a video game character as video games evolve in the future as they have already some people have said as well that you can't um you can't trademark or, or copyright Bigfoot or, or Mothman or, you know, these beasties that are already in the public eye. And that is correct. You definitely cannot. Um, but you can trademark your own design or your interpretation of that. And if your interpretation of that becomes the mainstream interpretation of Bigfoot, um, then you instantly have the trademarked idea or the, um, the, the, most, the public perception of that character, right? Now... If you look at, for example, what Coca-Cola did with Christmas, right? Christmas is synonymous with Coca-Cola. I mean, especially in the UK. When you, when you think of Coca-Cola, you know, or, or Christmas, sorry, you think of the Coca-Cola advert, that the Coca-Cola truck, holidays are coming and all that sort of stuff. Everybody knows that that is synonymous with, you know, with Christmas and Coca-Cola. There's also that story as well about how Santa, made, uh, Santa was made by Coca-Cola, or at least they designed his colours and all that sort of stuff. So it definitely, you know, Christmas wasn't in the you know wasn't in the uh wasn't in, in the copyrighted domain obviously because it's a it's a national holiday but coca-cola found a way to um completely you know make it their own kind of thing you know they've 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 synonymized red and white with christmas with coca-cola so definitely it's important to to keep in mind of that and um yeah, it's it's really interesting development. I think if Bandai if Bandai do take out MetaZoo or, or buy out some form of MetaZoo, it might not even be the company itself. It may just be the licensing for to make a TV show or to make some merchandise or toys or something like that. Right? It might not be the entire company. Although, looking at kind of what's been unfolding over the last few days, it does seem to be that there's going to be some sort of percentage buyout on the company, maybe. Um, but also bear in mind as well, it could be a licensing deal. Um, that could be happening as well. They they may be looking to because Bandai have always been making toys and that sort of stuff as well, right? So that's also something to keep in mind. They've always made really great cartoons and TV shows that have been watched by millions and millions of kids all over the world for 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 decades. So again, they're really good at that as well. So there's a lot to unpack there, and there's a lot of reason, in fact, why Bandai would be interested in Metazoo, a brand new IP. Uh, something that's completely fresh. It's not easy to make a new IP these days, guys, that resonates with people. You look at Hollywood and um, you know the video game industry, it is filled entirely with sequels, filled entirely with um, you know remakes and remasters and all that sort of stuff. So there's always room for a new IP that resonates with people. And when one comes up on the market cheap, you know, Bandai are a billion dollar company. It may just be pocket change to them. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave us a like and subscribe if you're new here. We'll have one more video coming out on Saturday and then we'll have a break on Sunday and be back on Monday. We'll be uncovering more news as it unfolds and I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. And yeah, there's been so much. Thanks. I just want to say thanks to everybody that's been watching. There's been a massive, massive response on some of these videos. If anybody has any questions or anything that they want me to cover, please let me know down in the comments. You can also contact us on Instagram, Twitter, um, Oh, that's kind of it, really. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.